Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you a really cool trick that's possible in Studio One. And this is a godsend if you've got an instrument, for, for example, a drum VI that only has stereo outs and you want to get separate outs and render them. Now I've got a, an instance of Expand here, which is a great kind of multi-tumbral uh, sound device that was first in Pro Tools, but is now available for all doors in VST or AU. And I've got it in here playing a drum part. So if I play you this now, Now the problem is it's got no separate apps and what I mean by that is I can't now come here and open it up if I even expand that it doesn't show me any separate apps uh, if I went to, for example to easy drummer and put that on a different uh, part and then we expanded that we can see that we've got all these separate apps I could put the snare somewhere and stuff like that which is a real pain so let me show you a really cool trick that's possible so I've got all my parts in here now and I'm going to create separate outputs from this. I'm going to be able to render them to different tracks. It's uh, a couple of stages we need to go through, but pretty straightforward. If we double click first to get the MIDI event editor open, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come here to the the drum names, and I'm going to come here, and I've got, to, yeah, I've got the kick on C1, and on F1, I've got, uh, on E1, I've got the, the snare, and then on F sharp one, I've got the hi-hat and the open hi on, on, it looks like, uh, A sharp one. Let me show you what you can do. First thing I'm going to do is name these. So I've, I've got them all, tr got them, so I know where they are. You don't have to do this, but it just makes things slightly easier when you come to do it. Snare, put snare in there as well. And then we've got, uh, as I say, hats there. And then we've got open hats on A sharp one, open hats. That'll do for now. It's just for me to do. So now I can see where all my instruments are there. Now the next thing I want to do then is I would never tell anybody to do this, but for what I'm going to do, it's just a, a great workaround. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to explode these to pitch. And if I explode them to pitch, what it would normally do is it would put the names, but it would put the precursor of the name of the track. So what I'm going to actually do is delete that. Don't ever do that normally. So I'm doing it so I've got no track name now. Because when it comes to explode to pitch, so if I go to explode pitches to tracks, if you haven't got it there in your recent items, then it will be in your instrument parts, explode pitches to tracks, do that, and now it's created them in different tracks. But we haven't finished yet because we still haven't got separate outputs. If we look at them, it's all there still in the audio. So the next thing you want to do is we want to make sure all of them are selected and we're going to convert them, bounce them to new tracks. Let's do that. Boom, 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 boom. Down it goes. There we are now, and what we've got, if we go and move that down there for a second, all our audio is here. Got kick, hat, so I now have, I can hide these all together, I can hide these tracks, and I now have the separate outputs rendered for me to mix. Very cool, very straightforward, of course it is, it's Studio One. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.